Hello viewers, welcome to Uhol, the channel for data and database professionals. In this tutorial, I am going to demonstrate how to upgrade an OEM13C agent using manual method. So in the part 1 of this topic, we manually installed an OEM agent version 13.4 on a 64-bit Oracle Linux host and in the part 2, we will manually upgrade the OEM agent from version 13.4 to version 13.5 in a 64-bit Oracle Linux host. So there are more than one method of upgrading an OEM agent. You can initiate it from the OEM console or the GUI. You can use an agent gold image to upgrade or using emcli command from OEM server etc. In this tutorial, we are going to use the emcli command. I have a full series on OEM 13.5 named Mastering OEM covering many important topics for the DBS. You can watch the series using the link in the description of this video below. Also, I am using Oracle VirtualBox virtual machines to do all these experiments. If you want to create your own virtual learning environment to practice Oracle, Unix, security, etc., please watch my series on the Oracle VirtualBox virtual machines for which I have given the link in the description of this video below. So I am going to take the option number three in this tutorial for the upgrade which will involve full manual activities using emcli command to upgrade the agent. There are a few prerequisites for a manual upgrade of the agent, which are the candidate agent must be a managed or standalone agent, the OEM and the agent communication is intact, the agent is secured with the OMS, and the last but not the least, the OEM software library must have the agent software you are trying to upgrade to. I assume you already have an up-to-date software library with the required agent software. If not, you can watch my other video on how to update the OEM software library online or manually in offline mode. Once the prerequisites are fulfilled, you can proceed with the upgrade steps. So manual upgrade of the agent software involves multiple steps as I am describing below. Number one, list out the upgradable agents in your OEM environment. Number two, Submit the upgrade job for the selected agents. Number three, verify the agent upgrade job status. Number four, verify the post upgrade agent status. And number five, perform post upgrade cleanup. Please note that all the commands that I am using in this demo are available in the description of this video or in a shared document in my Google Drive. You can access and copy them using the link in the description of this video below. Now let's start. So I logged in to my OEM console as Sysman user and under the targets menu and all targets, I have listed out all the agents. I have around six agents there and out of these agents, I am going to select this agent named vmlinux1.orexpert.org in the port 3871 with the version 13.4 that we installed in the last part. Next, we will go to our OEM server named admin server. So I already established an SSH session using Oracle user, which is the owner of all Oracle installations in this particular server named admin server. I am copying and pasting the commands to avoid typing mistakes and to save time. First, let me establish the environment so that I don't have to use the full path of the binaries that belongs to the middleware home bin folder. And then we will use the command emcli login minus username equals sysman and it will ask for the password and the login was successful and then we will do an emcli sync this is to bring the oem configuration and the repository database into sync so nothing is missed out or mismatched and the synchronization has been successfully completed next we will use the emcli get upgradable agents command to list out all the candidate agents for the upgrade. This is the simplest form of the command. If you want, you can add filters for agent name, platforms, etc. to reduce the number of agents returned. But as we have a very less number of agents, so we don't have to use any filters for the output and we'll simply execute it. And in the output, we can see it's listing out just one upgradable agent that I showed you in the OEM console with the name vmlinux1.orexpert.org which has an installed version of 13.4 and this is a candidate 
to upgrade to version 13.5. So I am going to select this agent for our upgrade activity. Next, we will go to this particular server which is hosting this agent. So I already established an SSH session using Oracle user to this VM Linux one host. And Oracle is the user who owns all Oracle installations in this server also. And next, we will find out the agent process that is running in the server using ps minus ef grep em agent. And from the output, we will take the path to the bin directory under agent home. That is u001 oracle agent 13c agent underscore 13.4.0.0.0. That is the agent home. And under that, it is the bin directory. And we will use the emctl status agent command. And we see in the output, agent is successfully uploading the data and the communication is intact. Next, we will get the list of targets managed by this particular agent before the upgrade so we can reconcile the targets after the upgrade. So let's go to the bin directory under agent home. Then let's clear the screen and then we will execute the command emctl config agent list targets. And it has given us a list of targets. The first one is the host, then the agent itself, then the Oracle home that belongs to the agent. Then there is a database instance named ORCL1 and one particular listener. And then the Oracle home that belongs to the RDBMS software. And there is a proxy copy of the agent. So we have to tell one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven targets which are managed by this particular agent. So we'll have to make sure that after the upgrade, these targets will continue to stay as managed targets by the upgraded agent also. And next, we will go back to our OEM server named admin server and we will upgrade the agent using the command. Let me paste it first and then I will explain. That is emcli upgrade agents minus agents equals we are passing the name of the agent that we found in the previous output which we copied from here then minus additional parameters under that we have to specify this ignore prerequisites we are already making sure that all the prerequisites are fulfilled minus stage location which is equals to the temp location so we have to make sure that this temp directory or the temp file system in your system has sufficient free space I would suggest you should have at least two gigs free space in both the OEM server and the target agent server. And also the file system where the agent home resides and where you are going to perform the upgrade also have at least two gigs of free space. So let's check that again. Let me go to the agent server and we'll do a df minus h to find out all the file system free space because our agent home is in the u001 file system. And we see there are 6.4 gigs free, so we have enough free space there. Let's go back to the admin server, that is our OEM server again, and I will press enter to execute the upgrade job. And this will give us an output in a couple of seconds about the job that it has submitted for the upgrade agent activity. And we got the output here along with a warning where it is saying that the root script cannot be run by this particular job and it has to be manually run which is obvious because we are running this upgrade job as oracle user so once the upgrade job is completed we'll have to go to the target agent server and we will manually run the root script using root user but it has given us another important piece of information that is the job name and we will use this job name to get the status of the job that is running so we will use the command emcli get agent upgrade status minus job name equals to and we will put this job name here and it should show us a status as running and yes we see it's running so this job is going to take at least five minutes i will pause the video and i'll resume once the job is completed so it has been almost five minutes let's check the status of the job again and we see it's still running please note that we can also check the status of the job using the name of the agent instead of the job name parameter here and that will give us the same output. So it has been almost 10 minutes. Let's check the status again and we see 
that the status of the job is shown as success means it has been completed successfully. So it took almost 10 minutes and based on the server performance and network speed, in your case, this time may vary. And next, we will verify the upgrade status of the agent using emcli get agent properties minus format equals csv agent name where we will specify this particular name of the agent that we upgraded and this will give us the output in the csv format press enter and the values are shown as name value pair where we see that the first line showing the agent version is now 13.5 and the other information like the time zone the emd root that is the home directory of the agent and the agent instance directory and Perl bin directory along with the EMD URL, repository URL and the upload interval etc. So no warning or error messages are displayed and it gives us a preliminary idea that the agent has been successfully upgraded. Next we will check any outstanding alerts for the upgraded agent using the command emcli get targets minus format equals name column csv and the targets and this will be nothing but the name of the agent then another column and then we have to specify oracle underscore emd space minus alerts press enter and it will give us if there was any alerts for this particular agent and we see that the status itself is up the target type is oracle emd that is the agent itself and the target name which is the name of the agent and critical warning for both of these we see there is a zero it means no critical or warning alerts now everything looks okay so next we will do post upgrade cleanup of the agent using the command emcli get sign off agents first of all we have to get the list of the agents which were signed off please note that it is not yet cleaning up the remainings of this upgrade it is first giving us the list of sign of agents so this is nothing but the agent that we just upgraded so the next command that we are going to use is actually going to do the cleanup and we are going to use the command emcli sign of agents minus agents equals the name of the agent that is this part within double quotes and this command also give us a job name as output and we are going to take that job name to find out the status of the cleanup activity. So we will use the command emcli get sign off status minus job name equals. We'll simply copy the name of the job here and we see that the cleanup job is still running. I have given all the commands to execute to get the status. If you are upgrading multiple agents, you can copy those commands from the description of this video. Now let's check the status again and we see that the status is shown as success means the cleanup activity has been successfully completed. Now we are all set and we will finally reconcile the targets managed by this particular agent with the list that we extracted before. So let's go back to the agent server and we will use the command emctl config agent list targets. So we should be able to get the same list that it was showing us with seven targets before. So let's execute it. Oops, I executed the command from the 13.4 home. Actually, this 13.4 home is no more present because we have just completed the upgrade. So we'll go back by two folders and we should be able to see the 13.5 folder there, this one. And then we will change directory to 13.5 and then under that, the bin directory. And then we will execute the list targets command again and we see the targets are listed exactly the seven targets that were listed before and now finally we will do emctl status agent and we see that the agent is running and ready and it is also able to successfully upload the data from agent server to the oms the next thing we need to do is to run the root script to complete the configuration of the 13.5 agent if you remember we got a warning during the upgrade job submission that the root.sh script needs to be run manually after the upgrade job is complete. So I will establish another session to the agent server named PM Linux one as root user.
and then we will execute the root.sh script under the 13.5 agent home directory which is u001 oracle agent 13c agent underscore 13.5.0.0.0 slash root.sh and the script has been successfully completed now let's go back to our oem console and refresh the list of agent targets where we should be able to see that this target version is changed from 13.4 to 13.5 and now we can see that the agent that we selected for upgrade that is the vmlinux1.oraxpert.org the version is now 13.5 so this has completed our upgrade of the agent from version 13.4 to 13.5 using manual method so viewers please provide your feedback in the comments section of the video and hit the like button if you found it useful that will mean a lot to me and help grow this channel